I'm here today with my high school best friend, Regina. Yes, we are here to talk about self-love. So continue watching. Don't go anywhere. One, two, three, four. When you talk about self-love sometimes, it's as if it's a crime. It's as if you are, you are just being... Well, a lot of people um, believe that it is selfish to love yourself. But what, what do you have to say about that? Well, um, I don't believe self-love is selfish. I believe that you have to love yourself enough to give truly enough. Um, the word says your body is a temple. And if you're not able to treat that temple well, then how then are you going to extend love to others? Selfish. Um, I, I think what some people tend to miss misunderstand really what selfishness is selfishness is really putting knowing that you could genuinely assist someone and you refuse to do it because you're putting your needs before if that person is in a dire need of help and you refuse to help self-love for me is appreciating yourself accepting your flaws and working on them self-love for me is acknowledging that you are a masterpiece by made by god and um you can't always think of yourself as just a common person you have to think of yourself as being royalty because god has promised us that we are here to his throne so um i don't think self-love is selfishness i think to the extent of which you take it i was reading the bible and there was something that came up like um there was this text it says we should love others as ourselves it wasn't the first time that i read that but based on the place that i was at the time working on myself a lot of times we hear things and, and it's not really meaningful to us. But then another time you hear the same thing and it has a different meaning. That was what was happening to me. I was working on myself at that time. So it was more meaningful to me. Love others as you love yourself. But then when I thought about it, I'm like, how am I supposed to love others? when I don't even love myself, you know? And I had to stop myself in that moment. I'm like, my God, you have work to do, you know? So some people, as they would say, it is selfish to love yourself, but then how are you going to love other people if you don't love you? You have to start loving you, and then when you start loving yourself so much, then you'll be able to to treat others or love others as you would do yourself and another thing you know so many of us are are what they call people pleasers so some people are more comfortable with being a people pleaser than pleasing um you know themselves you know what, what do you have to say about that are you the kind of person where you feel comfortable doing things for other people. people pleaser all right so for me being a people pleaser is not well i wouldn't really consider it a people pleaser you know i'd really call it um going out and about for people who really don't deserve for you going out and about for them um i remember time past gone where i used to do everything for everybody else ensure that everybody else is fine and you know look out for everybody else but who in return is really giving me back that so you know i had to to really look within myself to see okay i don't think this is healthy because no relationship goes one way so i started really looking into those kind of things and think and started you know changing um my circle who's in the circle and over time, I realized that, you know, some people, you just have to eliminate them, keep them far, love them from afar, and it's fine. It's okay. 
but you have to do what you have to do to ensure that you remain stable that you remain happy and also you can't always be extending you're emptying your cup what is there filling it up when it's empty you know so um i had it, it took me years a lot of years a lot a lot of years for me to really <laughs> to really get it but you know i i've gotten it i've gotten it you talk about who is filling your jar and you know you keep pouring out pouring out and then your jar is being empty and i am that person like you call me up and you're telling me your problems and rather than li just listening to you i am thinking how am i going to help how am i going to fix that problem i was never that person for myself because if i go into a store and i see a blouse and the blows cost a certain amount, believe me, I would start having anxiety attack. I feel those things in my neck and my spine. Yes, very, so tense. And it was while I was with this, this sweet lady, Norma, she said to me one day, she said, you know, Tamika, you should tell yourself that you deserve it. Everything that is good, you deserve it. When you just start doing it, it's going to sound strange. But if you keep doing it, eventually you will start believing in it. And as I am on this journey, you know, of change and development, I can tell you that I am at that place now where it's like nothing is too precious for me. Because you talk about, you know, our father and we are royalty and when I see my daddy I'm like my father is a king so I should live like royalty I shouldn't live in luck you know it's funny that you you know you were mentioning that earlier but we have a lot of us have the tendency to want to be that person for everybody else but then it's right. so hard when it's our turn and we just have to get to that place where we can say hey you deserve it. You're worth it. So tell me, Gina, what are some of the things that you do to practice self-love? For, you know, for those who are watching and they're excited about this journey and they want to know the things that they can do. 